This is our centripetal force demonstrator. It consists of our hand-driven rotator and a unit that has a mass attached to a string, which is then attached to a mass hanger. We will be applying various amounts of mass to the mass hanger in order to change the tension within this string. Once we begin to rotate our system, a centrifugal force is applied to this mass, which will cause it to travel further from the center of rotation. To counteract this outward motion, the string that is attached to the mass, which we've applied a tension to, will then cause a centripetal force to pull this mass back towards the center of the circle. At the point where this is at a stable orbit, the centrifugal force and the centripetal force are in balance. Attached to our unit, we have included a light bulb. When the centrifugal force of this mass has exceeded the centripetal force required to lift this mass, the whole unit will rise and complete the circuit to light the light bulb. The circuit diagram for this unit is included in the next image. In order to complete the circuit, the centripetal force of this mass must exceed the centripetal force applied by the tension in the string due to this mass. So let's see what happens when we spin up our system with just one 291 gram mass on it. Let's go ahead and add mass to our system. This will increase the tension required to lift the masses in order to complete the circuit.